students our today's subject is english topic cleaning a cow shed before we get into our lesson let us learn one poem name bits of paper bits of paper bits of paper lying on the floor lying on the floor makes the place untidy makes the place untidy pick them up pick them up related to this only students we are going to learn today a very interesting lesson of how to clean a cow shed so the name of our lesson is cleaning a cow shed students do you want to know how to clean a cow shed let us read the lesson to know cleaning a cow shed first you put on work shoes and gloves then you get the cows out of the shed next you sweep the floor this will get all the dung out spray the shed to kill the flies let the shed dry now you can put fresh grass for the cows lastly bring the cows back into the shed did you understand the lesson Let us read one by one to know more in detail. Cleaning a cow shed. First, you put on work shoes and gloves. Students, it is very important to be aware that farm animals can sometimes carry harmful germs that can cause a variety of illness hygiene should be maintained so we should keep in mind to wear shoes and gloves to protect ourselves from harmful germs the very first new word we get from this lesson is gloves a piece of clothing that covers your hand and has five separate parts for fingers then you get the cows out of the shed now they start to remove the cows one by one so that the space is empty and all the cows are taken to another place for some time the second new word we get from this lesson is shed the meaning of word shed is a small space that is used to keep animals a shelter for large number of animals next you sweep the floor now students after removing the cows out of the shed you start sweeping the floor when you sweep an area of floor you push dirt out using a brush with long handle this will get 
all the dung out cow dung also known as cow fat is the waste product of animal cow dung is brown in color these are collected and used in many different ways spray the shed to kill the flies students there are many different types of liquid spray that is used to kill the flies or any other species to make the space clean and flies free the third new word we get from this lesson is flies meaning of the word flies is a small kind of insect with two wings let the shed dry the liquid which was sprayed everywhere in the space and all the things which were wet because we have cleaned each and everything so it is wet now so let us wait for the shed to dry now you can put fresh grass for the cow students to feed the cow with good quality we should provide fresh grass so that the cow be healthy and active so now everything is cleaned so we should put fresh new grass for the cows lastly bring the cows back into the shed students now the cleaning is done bring the cows back again with this we end our today's lesson so this was the lesson about how to clean a cow shed let us do a quick recap by reading the lesson one more time ready start cleaning a cow shed first you put on work shoes and gloves then you get the cows out of the shed next you sweep the floor this will get all the dung out spray the shed to kill the flies let the shed dry now you can put fresh grass for the cows lastly bring the cows back into the shed so the following questions number 1 what is the first thing to do when cleaning a cow shed you can find the answer in the passage itself answer put on work shoes and gloves question number 2 why do you need work shoes and gloves to clean a cow shed yes to protect ourselves from getting dirty question number Three. What do you do last when you are cleaning a cow shed? 
very good bring the cows back in the shed notes for today's lesson are as follow new words gloves shed flies meaning of the new words we got from this lesson today gloves a piece of clothing that covers your hand and has five separate parts for the fingers number 2 shed a small space that is used to keep animals number 3 flies a small insect with two wings make sentences from the new words we get from our lesson today i have done some examples for you you will have to create your own new one first one gloves i need a pair of gloves for winter number 2 shed shed are shelter of cows number 3 flies we see many flies during rainy season homework for our today's lesson is draw and color a cow shed in your notebook thank you for watching this video